Here I want to see the volumes of a cup. This part is also like a short cylinder, but we can draw the cup with just one cylinder. The bottom of the cup is round and resembles a sphere. Here I also show marker which has two cylinder body. One is tall and the other is short. The red part is shorter. This is a spindle, a defective cone with the upper part removed. There is another green cone in the middle. The spindle is like a cylinder. The next volume is screwdriver. We can see that it is made up of several narrow white cylinders. See the red part. The red cylinder is long and wide, but the metal cylinder is very narrow. The next object is a glass which has several volumes. When analyze its volume, the top of the glass is big cone. This cone is almost a full cone. At the bottom of the cone is narrow tall cylinder. At the bottom of the glass is a very short cylinder that is attached to the upper cylinder. The next object is a small container. If we carefully analyze its volume, shows that the whole container looks like a sphere. Here I have a spoon that is part of a spherical volume cut. The spoon handle is a thin line rectangular cube. The next object is a green marker that looks like a cube when I rotate and imagine it from any angle. It's a separate rectangular cube. The body also has a slightly larger volume. The two cubes are stuck together. This is also the remote control. This is the total volume of the cube and the buttons on it are each a smaller cube. Look at this watch. The clock itself a larger cube and the handle consists of the large number of smaller metal cubes on both sides. The next object is a flash memory that's still larger than two smaller cubes that are stuck together. Now see a spherical shape of an onion. Like onions, most fruits are spherical. Has some details that we need to look at for its overall size, its spherical volume. It's a desktop clock made of the several different volumes. If we rotate it and analyze it, we find that it's large spherical size. I show this part by hand. It's completely spherical. There are two birds on this spherical volume with a few more heads and bodies. Both birds are completely spherical. The tail of these birds can be like a long cone. That is, the cylinder body is located between the head and tail. Combined cylindrical, spherical and conical. The spherical volume is found here. Which is hollow and the food is put into it. So, it must be perfectly spherical. The cubic handle is attached to the lower spherical part. The ladle volume is suitable for drawing. We have another object that is a glass container. Looking at it from all sides, this spherical container can be seen. It also has details. However, a little of the top of the this spherical volume has been removed. This is small cone for pouring liquids and also the container handle. 